what's going on aries and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so let's jump right into your march reading let's see what can be expected now this will be for sun moon rising and venus signs okay and just keep in mind guys like i always say the energies could be transferable it could be something about you i'm picking up on or someone around you okay so what is in store for aries now the deck i'm using guys is the wild unknown tarot okay so we have the ace of swords that popped out let's get just three cards to start with okay we have the queen of pentacles reversed let's get one more card here there we go we have the page of wands okay so there is a lot of happiness eh, and strength to go around. Um, there's something that you just feel so strongly about, something that you could be very passionate about, um, something that's coming in just very intensely. But this is coming in because either you or someone around you, or let's just say someone, okay? Someone chose to cut out a situation where either they were losing money, spending too much money, um, maybe they felt very, very depleted and drained, okay? Or maybe there was someone overbearing that you felt you had to cut out, or maybe you were being overbearing, someone cut you out. But this leaves way, okay, for new passionate beginnings. All right, so let's see why this stuff is here. Why is this Ace of Swords here? We have the Seven of Cups reversed, Ten of Wands, and we have the Three of Cups in the reverse, okay? Um, for some of you, I honestly, I feel like someone was burdened by how overbearing somebody was. Okay, this could even be like a mother that's still trying to live vicariously through a child. I feel that too. Um, or a mother that isn't giving the best guidance for a child right now, okay? But there's definitely burden here. Um, somebody just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Uh, if this is a relationship, someone's just, they're just done with their partner um, and, and they're ready to move on to something else, okay? But this is something karmic, guys. And there is a loss felt with this, okay? Five of Cups down here. So there could definitely be sadness here. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Six of Wands. Nice. And then you have the Five of Wands. Okay, so something was definitely a mistake. Things didn't go as planned. And someone is stuck on this. Okay, but on the other end, I feel that this is something that by realizing its burden and, you know, realizing that it just depletes you, you find success in letting it go. Now... Whoever or whatever is being dropped here, when they find out that that's the path, you know, that you want to take, they're going to have shit to say. Someone's going to want to fight it, okay? Um, I don't know why I keep feeling that for some of you, maybe you're just doing something you're going to be very successful with, but maybe your family doesn't agree with it or, or someone very close to you doesn't agree with it. You guys are going to have to stand your ground with something because you will be very successful in it. Um... And I'm not saying to keep it quiet, but there's going to be people that just don't see your dream and they don't see your vision and they will try to compromise it. My mom tells me to get a real job every day, guys. I'm like, I don't know any job that's going to pay me what I, I get paid. So it's just like, it, it's crazy to me. But this is going to be something where it just, it does not suit you. Okay. Um, you remove yourself from it. You have great success. And it's just the, the advice or the the way you were going to be directed with this in your life, it, it just, it wasn't going to match with what you're supposed to be doing or what you wanted to do. Okay. So yeah, you get shit from people, but it's like, how are you giving me shit when this is me? Like I, I literally find success in this and you want to talk shit. You make no sense. Okay. So let's pull another spread. Now, uh, this next deck I'm going to use, guys, is Grand Lux Tarot. All right.
All right, so we have the three of coins here. We have the seven of coins reversed. And we have the nine of cups, okay? Um, so you guys are just really happy, honestly. Uh, you're really happy and passionate with something that you're building right now. And there is some factor in your life where you're just like, oh my God, I wasted so much time being involved in that. Whether it was you taking advice from people who were giving you the wrong advice, or maybe you were in the wrong relationship, maybe you were in the wrong marriage, you were in the wrong something, okay? Um, and now you're just really content with what you're building and you see such a solid vision guys And with the judgment card upright, you're making the right choice It's just you have a hard time kind of parting ways with what was holding you back from that Even though you know you have to at this point. This is some bullshit. Oh I'm forgetting. I'm Aries Venus I'm involved in this too guys. This is this is great Okay we have the Ten of Cups. You're extremely happy with something that you're building. So what's a waste of time? Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed coming up? Okay, this one wants to slide out the world card. <laughs> it just simply means you're no longer wasting time. I have chills, guys, because um, I was just saying that about two months ago, and uh, I don't know if I'm the only person who felt this energy, but there's just some sort of shift that I just felt like just in the universe where I feel like a lot of people are just being a lot more authentic with themselves, okay? And it's because people are choosing to take that path, people are finding some amazing new beginnings, okay? Um, you could have an unstable transition with coming from the inauthenticity to the authenticity. It could also be something that um, causes a stir up within your home or within an area that is familiar and close to you, okay? So maybe something or someone from your past or um, someone that's, you know, was a, a major part of your childhood doesn't like this. But guess what, you're doing it anyways. You don't care, you don't give a fuck at this point. All right, and we have the lover's card in the reverse. So whatever wasn't working, you're more than happy to release it. So if there's a friendship you lose because of this, or you got to cut off a cousin or some shit like that, you're not losing sleep over it. Hermit card, I'm going to do this on my own. Only I know my path. How can you guide me if I'm literally the light? You don't know which way I'm supposed to go, okay? So, yeah you it's like you drop something you're you're working more on your own and you're trusting yourself and you're honing in and guys this is what happens you attract abundance you attract money you attract good things you just feel though as you feel as though that anything or anything or anyone where you have to keep your passions a secret or it's something that you you feel like you shouldn't talk about it you're not you're no longer putting effort into those relationships this is really dope guys like this is dope okay we have the seven of cups four of cups in the reverse and the death card you're accepting the fact that anything that made you confused about moving forward, you're just, you're putting death to it. Guys, this is a huge pivotal change for you guys where there's self-sufficiency and you're trusting yourself more than ever, guys. This nine of pentacles, you know, sometimes this could be for a person that's single, that could be you, but I don't see that. I see as someone who's just like, I cannot believe I wasted so much time when I could have been the narrator of this story the entire time. Okay, I feel that you're not letting the outside world and society and the media, you're not letting it influence what you want to do. And shit, with this coronavirus, we might all be dead next week. So just love who you want to love. Take the job you want to take. Um, go skydiving. Freaking go skydiving, guys. I've gone four times and I, I plan to do it anywhere I travel from here on out. But do it. Guys, just do it. 
so much comes from it. You're extremely happy. You're making money. Um, so if someone sees you doing that well and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? And it's like removing you from my life. Obviously, if you have to question why I'm so happy. <sighs> All right. So let's give you guys some guidance. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so let's get three cards with guidance for my Aries loves. King of Swords. We have the Strength card in the reverse, and we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Guys, again, very clear. It's not that you're... Okay. I don't see you guys going up to a person and saying, fuck you, you ain't shit. Like, you'll never be in my life again, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of going to be like, you know what? I love you. I, I still love you. And, you know, I, I know I can't control you and the way you see things and the way that you view things. So I have to part ways with you because of that. But don't think I hate you. It's it's still all love. And I get it. And this is beyond your concept. Like, you're not able to conceptualize this. And that's okay. But... I have success at my door and I can't deal with a small mind right now. That's that's really what it is. So with anything that holds you back, with anything that made you feel like you were crazy or you were weak or anything that made you unhappy, this is your attitude towards it. King of Swords. The King of Swords, regardless of how this person feels about something, they're going to cut it out and they're going to do what's logical. Okay. You guys are breaking away from some limiting energies. All right, we have the Nine of Swords. You're cutting out anything that makes you anxious, guys. For some of you, it could be a, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini specifically that's involved in this. You have the Knight of Swords. I just feel like this is your attitude. Y'all just got sword attitude, okay? What was making you unhappy, your soul is rejecting it. Your soul doesn't want it anymore, okay? And yeah, guys, this is just the attitude. Before, I may have been scared to do what I wanted, or I may have taken your opinion, you know, into account so heavily that it stopped me from doing something I wanted to do. But fuck that. You guys are in a place where you're not turning back. You're not letting anybody ever direct your shit again. I think this is my favorite reading this month so far, okay? And I'm a Taurus, and the Taurus one was bomb, but this one... I think I like it more. Don't tell Taurus. Some of you are probably Tauruses cross-watching. We love y'all. But um, yeah, guys, this is great. Okay, so follow me on social media, guys. I'm on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 And you can follow me on Twitter as well, Bruja Shit. Now, um, all of this is in the description below. And if you guys need a personal reading, everything is there. There's multiple ways to get readings. So just read through everything. It's, it's super, super simple. Do what's easiest for you. All right. I love y'all. Adios.